Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. That is where we begin tonight. New at 10, there is a push to redevelop the Quincy Riverfront tonight and new funding is available for the Riverfront Master Plan. This afternoon, city officials decided how they would spend that money along the riverfront. WGEM's Kara Birnat has been following this story today and is live in Quincy for us tonight with details. Kara. Dylan, city leaders say if they get that money, they want to use it to get rid of these, the Ameren power lines that go up and down the Quincy Riverfront. They say this will make the area more appealing as they gear up for the master plan project. On a nice summer day, several people head to the Quincy Riverfront. I usually just walk the dog around down here. I just like coming down here because it's pretty and peaceful. A breath of fresh air along the Mississippi River that city leaders want to make even better now that they have potential funds to do so. The Quincy Riverfront Master Plan Steering Committee plans to apply for a $350,000 state grant for riverfront development. This afternoon, the committee discussed four projects to put the money towards. Burial of the power lines, dredging the lower bay, putting a recreational use boat dock in, or a trail connection through Bob Bangert Park. After after some discussion, the committee concluded that the project that they preferred out of the four projects that were vetted was the burial of the Ameren power lines. Quincy Planning Director Chuck Bevelheimer says this project will improve the look of the riverfront. This project is unique in that fact that the Ameren has some large high voltage power lines that run along parallel to the railroad tracks along the riverfront. Uh, those power lines are very old. Bevelheimer estimates the burial of power lines from Hampshire Street North to Kessler Park will cost around $350,000. And we see this as an aesthetic issue and we have an opportunity opportunity to with some grant funds to address the issue so we felt that this was a time to do it. Progress along the riverfront that some residents say they hope will lead to more. I would like to see more restaurants and bring the music back down here. That's what I come over here for. Bevelheimer says this decision will go before the city council next week. From there, he says they hope to start working with Ameren in the next couple of months. He also says they plan to start the river front plan back up after it was put on pause back in March due to COVID-19. Live in Quincy, Carabirnat, WGEM News.